Yes, for those of you asking, does the character come back? Yes, I can finally say yes. The character returns to the DCU. Amanda Waller is back. <laughs> Adam released this past weekend. It's the next entry in the DCEU and is directed by Jaime Colette Serra, who has also directed such films like House of Wax, Orphan, The Shallows, Unknown, Nonstop, Run All Night, and The Commuter. And this film is starring Dwayne Johnson, Aldous Hodge, Noah Centeno, Sarah Shahi, Marwan Kanzari, Quintessa Swindle, Badhi Sabangui, and Pierce Brosnan. The Egyptian land of Kandak has always been under some type of rule, and this time Time it is under the rule of the villainous countrywide gangster squad known as Intergang. They are searching for an artifact of magical powers known as the Crown of Sabek, which leads a bunch of them to this strange mountain in the middle of Kandak, where unbeknownst to them they free from his prison Black Adam. So now Black Adam flies all around of Kandak, saving all of its people and killing all of the Intergang members. This notifies Amanda Waller, who calls in the Justice Society to take him down. Here it is. It finally happened. This guy, Dwayne Johnson, was cast in this role officially, I believe, back in 2004. 14 before we even got bvs or the snyder cut issues or wonder woman the rock was attached to this character and even before 2013 people were saying that he should play a black adam character in a justice league movie or something like that here it finally is and all i have to say is i hope the rock is happy I just really hope he is happy. He took his time with this movie, and he really, really wanted to get it right, and he really wanted to make the fans happy. Did he make this fan happy? Yeah, for the most part. I'm a big DC fan. I love all superheroes, but if you put a gun to my head, say, hey, make a choice between Marvel or DC, I will always very quickly select DC. I love all those characters and I love the mythology behind those characters. So to see characters like Black Adam, Doctor Fate, Hawkman, Adam Smasher in this movie, it puts a smile on my face. Characters that I never thought I would see on a live action screen, let alone being played by people like Dwayne Johnson or hell, frickin' Pierce Brosnan, James Bond himself, who is by far the shining star of this entire movie. What he does with his physicality and his vocal work, he sounds very hoarse and distant and kind of ancient and worried and scared and his vocal performance is beautiful not to mention his costume and his helmet are also beautiful and look exactly like dr fate from the comics and it just puts a freaking smile on my face aldous hodge is awesome as hawkman as well he is another shining star i just saw this actor for the very first time this past weekend when i watched the invisible man where he's in there showing off his triceps to elizabeth moss and here he is, and he's holding his own up against Dwayne Johnson and Pierce Brosnan. He was awesome. I enjoyed Quintessa Swindle as Cyclone. I just wish we would have gotten more of her. And also Sabangui, who also plays Adam Smasher. They're, they're great when they're on screen, but we barely get a lot of them, and I just wish we would have had more of them. I really hope we get them in future films, and however this Justice Society plays in future films with, say, a Justice League, I just, just wow, just thinking about that put another smile on my face. This movie makes a DC fanboy very, very happy, because like I said, Amanda Waller is back in the DCEU. But also big kudos need to be given to Dwayne Johnson, who... I feel this is one of his better performances. It doesn't feel like it's The Rock when he's on screen. I like how Black Adam makes the choice where he's really flying around the entire time, and if he's not flying, he's hovering. He's not standing on the ground. There's a, a moment when he stands on the ground when he kind of defeats himself, which really emphasized that moment a lot more. But for the most part, he's holding himself high. And his vocal work, too, very much like Pierce Brosnan, is something different that I haven't heard from The Rock. I, I, I'm i calling him The Rock. He's Dwayne Johnson. I know him from wrestling, so he's big. He's bombastic. He knows his role, and then he makes other people shut their mouths. But here he is in this movie, and his vocal performance is taken aback a little bit. It is down more in his chest. It is deeper. It's not so... 
like chesty and back of throaty. It's, I feel like he actually made an effort in this movie to not be Dwayne Johnson, but be Black Adam. And I appreciate it. Now, as you can tell, my favorite part of this entire movie is the introduction of all these characters and the performances that we get here. I really much enjoy. There is a mid credit scene that a lot of people have been talking about, and I'm not going to talk about it, just in case if anyone is watching this for the very first time, I'm not going to spoil it, but if you're a DC fan, it will make you very, very happy. But when it comes to these superhero movies, a movie is not made on the mid credit scene alone. You have to look at the actual movie itself to realize, hey, is this movie good or bad? And a lot of critics, I guess, are saying that it's not as good as it should be. I am saying that it is It is a fun time. It is a fun movie, and it's, I was about to say it's the problem of the movie, but it's not really a problem, it's just a fact. It's a very simple movie. They're going after this thing called the Crown of Sabak. And of course, we get the villain whose name is Sabak in this film, and He's very, very simple. The MacGuffin of this movie is very simple. The character progression in this movie is very simple. And like I said, that's not a problem. I believe other reviewers are highlighting that as the big issue and the big problem of the movie. I don't think simplicity is a problem. It's just, you don't, as an audience member, if it's simple, you don't have to invest a lot of yourself into the movie, I guess, to have a good time. Which, again, is not a bad thing. Just in my opinion, with other superhero films, in particular in the DCEU, with films like Wonder Woman, Man of Steel, Zack Snyder's Justice League, hell, even, in my opinion, Batman v Superman, that I feel go even deeper and have more complex storylines and complex characters, when we go to the rest of the DCEU and we see something simple like this, kind of something simple like a Shazam or an Aquaman, this kind of falls into that mold too. So it's a very simple story. I'm going along with it and I'm having fun. I like seeing everything. But again, I'm not as mentally invested in this movie as I am with a Wonder Woman or Batman v Superman. The action scenes are badass. There are a ton of them, but when we get them, they are awesome. If you love seeing action scenes in your movies, you will be very, very happy. And hell, there's some fun downtime moments in this film too. It's just, it feels like there, there's a lot that was cut down to kind of make a two hour cut of this movie and the film doesn't really take its time to breathe or like take a moment or take a couple of moments for that. Maybe it'll take like a small little tiny moment here and there but then we go right back into a badass action scene. A lot of critics when they talk about DCEU films like throwing out words like game changer or course correction with every single entry that comes out that have some type of positive view on it this is not a game changer. This is not a movie that's going to revolutionize the superhero world. Not at all. But it is a fun time at the movies. And when you get down to it, that's all you're really asking for as an audience member, is to be entertained and to have a good time. And that's exactly what I had while watching this movie. And I would be very happy to see this rendition of Black Adam with Dwayne Johnson appear in other DCEU films. I would love to see a sequel with this. I would love to see the return of the JSA in some type of shape or form, whether it's a Black Adam sequel, or whether Black Adam shows up in Shazam 2 or Shazam 3, if we ever get that, or if Black Adam takes on, you know, a certain big blue Boy Scout who may or may not be returning, and yes, I am referring to Amanda Waller, of course. I would love to see it. Black Adam is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend seeing it. It's not anything spectacular, but it's not, it's not terrible at all either. It's just a really fun time. I'm gonna give Black Adam three out of five Blu-rays. Not exactly what I had in mind, but not bad. So guys, have you seen Black Adam? What did you think about it? Where does it fit on your ranking of all of the DCEU films? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. See you all the next time I'm released next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.